Hi, this is Kushari from Supermicro. In this video, I'm going to show you storage management feature using SUM, Supermicro Update Manager. Storage management features are supported from SUM 1.7 revision. Here I'm going to show you these highlighted features with the illustrations. Please refer SUM user guide for more information. First, I'm going to show you these two features get rate controller info and update rate controller user can always type dash h for any syntax help so here i am executing get rate controller information for my Broadcom 3108 controller. This will give you all the information about that controller. So next I am executing update rate controller. So here it is updating RAID controller firmware from 466 to 467 and it is done and now it will reboot the target system. You can verify the new firmware from get RAID controller. So next is get SATA info and get NVMe info. Get SATA info will show you the current SATA HDD information under onboard AHCI controller of the managed system. So you can see the SATA HDD information for the managed system. And Get NVMe info will display current NVMe info from the managed system. And you can verify same information using BMC web as well. Next is gate rate configuration and change rate configuration. Rate management features are only supported for Broadcom 3108 rate controller. Here I am exporting current rate configuration using get rate CFG. User can export current rate setting for managed system in XML format as well. This file is designed to display editable rate configuration elements. First, I will perform clear all configuration so that I can clear previously applied rate settings remotely for the managed system. So in this file, I am using clear all option under RAID action and saving the changes. Always use latest exported RAID configuration file for applying any RAID changes. Use command change RAID CFG with updated RAID configuration file so that SUM will update RAID configuration. So now configuration is updated successfully. Now I am showing how to create RAID 0 and RAID 5 simultaneously using one configuration file. 
Here you can review all physical hard drive information. Physical drive info will give you drive IDs, list and drive info for the managed system. Under RAID info, I am changing RAID action to change and array ID to minus 2 as I am going to create two RAIDs. Then under configuration, RAID level and physical drive IDs. Here I am using 0 and 1. I am assigning drive 0 and 1 as RAID 0. User can modify all these fields with supported values. Here I am copying RAID 0 information and modifying elements for RAID 5. User can add multiple RAID create operations in one configuration file. Changing array ID to minus 1. RAID level to RAID 5. Physical drive list. 2234 and RAID name to RAID 5 and saving all the changes. Using change RAID CFG, applying RAID 0 and RAID 5 creation settings remotely. Looks like configuration updated successfully. Now I am getting new RAID configuration so that I can review previously applied changes. Under logical drive, you can verify RAID 0 and RAID 5 information. Same configuration will reflect on BMC web as well. So next is delete RAID 5. Here I am deleting an array. Use all to delete every logical drive from array 0. You can also delete specific logical drive from specific array. So as you can see here, RAID 5 is deleted and only RAID 0 is showing up. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.